I want to show you guys something. Take a look at this. What in the world is that? That is the Hamagata. And it's part of the new six fin series from the Spicy Shark. Are you ready to eat the heat? Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another hot sauce review. Now I've got a really good one for you guys today because this is another review for the Spicy Shark. Have you ever had their products before? They make a lineup of some fantastic hot sauces with some very, very unique flavor profiles with lots and lots of delicious ingredients. And they've got a sriracha, they've got wing sauce, they've got hot honey, and they've got some hot syrups that are just out of this world. So make sure you check out my channel for some of the other reviews that I've done for the Spicy Shark. Now they've created something new, guys. This is their hottest creation yet. And they had to move up to six fins and they needed a creature of mythical proportions to represent it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is from the six fin series, the Hamagata from the spicy shark all right check that out nice looking labels on here i just love that so this is once again this brand new six fin series because they've ramped up the heat this one is made with seven pot primo peppers and a bunch of other ingredients that we'll get in here too in a minute uh, let me go ahead and read the uh, the side here it says eat the heat savor the flavor half hammerhead shark Half alligator, the Hamagata is the inaugural mythical creature of the Six Fin series. With a southern inspired base, we add traditional Cajun seasoning and a hint of smoke. Um, this sauce features the scorching heat of the Louisiana born seven pot Primo pepper, created by our good friend Mr. Troy Primo. And it's got with a New England accent all right here's here's what it says on the side guys it says goes great with shrimp crawfish gumbo jambalaya po' boys dirty rice meat poultry tacos tempeh if you don't know what that is it's like a um a, a tofu from uh, indonesia and anything in need of flavor and heat vegan gluten-free ingredients made in the good old USA. That is awesome. Now, I don't but know for sure, but I think they had some type of contest that they were doing uh, for these drawings, and this is the one that they chose. Awesome looking um, logo of the Hamagata. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into this one, guys. So once again, this is six fins, so this has got some heat. And it's got quite the list of ingredients. It not only includes the seven pot primo pepper, but we start off with uh, scorpion pepper, vinegar, onion, roasted red pepper, molasses, water, garlic, celery, habanero pepper, pineapple juice. How about some good old bananas? Tomato, almond flour, sunflower oil, Carolina Reaper pepper, seven pot primo pepper, chocolate chili powder now this is what i thought was so interesting because this chocolate chili powder is made from cacao nibs you know those little bits and pieces of the cacao beans that's a chocolate in its, in its purest form uh, chili juniper berry allspice and maple syrup now, are you guys making that uh, on your own uh, gabe that sounds really good the chocolate chili powder then we've got seasonings liquid smoke paprika salt and we're not done yet. We've got to add a little bit of coffee puree and some more spices. That is awesome. Now, once again, uh, the flavor profiles and the ingredients on the Spicy Shark hot sauces are, they don't just do it simple. They use a lot of ingredients. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I enjoy a simple, uh, uh, basic hot sauce with very few ingredients. Heck, I even love chilies and vinegar. Uh, but they mix a bunch of different ingredients and somehow it just works. Uh, really delicious flavor profile. Sodium on this one is very, very low. Only 10 milligrams. All right. Well, let me show you what this one looks like, guys. Uh, this is the Hamagata. Love the color on this one. Check that out. Love the consistency as well. Nice, dark, kind of a brown color. But just love this one. 
not too thick not too thin nice rich color on this one all right well let's go ahead and open it up and talk about the aroma on hamagata now this has got so much going on guys i get so many different things i mean again i get spicy from the spices that are in here i get savory notes i get um I get kind of that Cajun type vibe. It looks like they kind of created a base like with the Cajun seasoning and uh, I guess maybe they, uh, the almond flour in here to kind of create like a Louisiana roux, a dark roux, kind of as a base. I think that's just awesome. But they've added a lot of other ingredients and a lot of other peppers to this as well. Uh, I definitely can pick up on a little bit of the, the uh, cacao or the, you know, the chocolate type vibe that's in here. Also, kind of the, the uh, coffee just a bit. So it's spicy. It's slightly sweet, savory. Get some real nutty chocolate type uh, aroma to this one. It's just a lot going on. It just smells really, really delicious. Doesn't smell overly hot, but that may change when we taste it. But it's got just a really nice, nice aroma to it. All right, let's quit stalling and go ahead and do this one. I'll just do just a little bit here. Okay, that should be enough, right? I'm dripping it all over the place. Is that enough? Nah, we're going to do a whole spoonful. Here we go. Is that how you do it, Gabe? I'm just making a mess with this one. All right. Here we go with a spoonful of Hamagata. Woo! Wow. Whoa, this is so good. When you do that much, it kind of takes your breath away a little bit. But wow, talk about some delicious flavor. Woo, and it is lighting up the mouth quite a bit. Uh, this is definitely the, um, the hottest sauce yet from the Spicy Shark. Definitely worthy of six spins. This stuff is really, really pretty hot but it's such a delicious flavor everything that I kind of described um, when I talked about the aroma is really coming through in the flavor as well spicy uh, rich savory slightly sweet not overly sweet at all whoo but just packed with awesome flavor nice Cajun seasoning as the base but you get the chocolate a little bit you get the coffee a little bit you get the fruit just a little bit it's just blended so well Woo, but this one lights up the mouth pretty darn good, I'm telling you. I think it's got a really great burn on it because um, it's got habaneros in there. You're getting kind of that front of the mouth sting. Uh, it's got the Trinidad Scorpion, it's got the Carolina Reaper, and it's got the blistering heat of the Seven Pop Primo to give you that oven hot, back of the mouth, hot coal type of burn. So you've got everything. Um, whew. This is a scorcher. Now, before I forget, let me show you what I did with this one, guys. I thought this would be so good on one of my favorite, <coughs> excuse me, one of my favorite dishes, southern dishes. This is a classic, and I love to make it at home, and I'm pretty darn good at it. This is my shrimp and grits. Um, had to put this on the shrimp and grits. Had some andouille sausage in there. Absolutely fantastic on shrimp and grits. Any Cajun food i think this would be awesome on shrimp crawfish gumbo jambalaya po boys dirty rice all of that it would be fantastic on um anything this is a real winner um gabe and jill great job on this one now for the heat um i think i was thinking seven but i think i'm gonna go with a low eight i think it deserves a low eight out of ten on my one to ten scale this is a scorcher but I've said this on a lot of hot sauces that I've reviewed that are so hot. Um, it, it, they've done it in a way, they've put, done the heat in a way that it's super hot. You get the oven hot, super hot burn, but it's not particularly painful. There's a lot of hot sauces out there that are just super hot and it's just a painful burn with no flavor. This has got the flavor. This has got the super hot heat. It takes it to a level where it is super hot, but... It's not particularly painful, if you know what I mean. Maybe a, a true chili head will know what I mean. But this is going to light the average person up big time. But awesome flavor on this one. Highly recommended the Hamagata from 
the Spicy Shark. Whew. Check this company out, guys. Give them a like on Facebook if you're on Facebook. And the website is thespicyshark.com. Link will be down in the description. Um, and this is available. It is on their website right now. Just love what these guys do. I love their hot sauces, their products. I love the whole shark theme and their uh, shark conservation and what the guys are doing. I just really love that. So uh, for more information about that, make sure you check them out at the spicyshark.com. All right, Gabe and Jill, thank you so much for sending this one. I really do appreciate it. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you click my Enjoy the Burn logo right there. Subscribe to my channel if you have it. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And until next time, make sure you do what I'm doing right now. Enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.